Hey guys, this is Clay Hayes with Twisted Stay Media, and today we're going to talk about one of the most important aspects in becoming a good and a consistent shot with traditional gear, and that's controlling every aspect of your shot. Now before we get into that, I want to put a plug in for the primary sponsor of this video, and that's Oregon Packworks. I've been using the Orion setup from Oregon Packworks for a little over a year now, and I honestly absolutely love it. There's a lot of great packs on the market these days, but the thing that sets these packs apart is sheer versatility. They're completely modular, so you can break it all the way down to just a lumbar system, or you can put all the add-ons on there and have something that'll work for a two-week backpacking trip. So check them out at OregonPackWorks.com. Let's fling some arrows. Now, I made a video a couple of months ago that details the way I shoot. I use basically a gap method of shooting, and I consciously aim my bow, very similar to how you would shoot a compound. Now I think that's one of the things that really frustrates guys that are coming into traditional archery, or maybe even guys that have been into it for a long time, is there's this thought that when you start shooting a traditional bow, that instinctive shooting is the only way to do it. Well, I'm here to tell you, that is not the case. You can aim these bows, and for me, that made all the difference in the world. Now, we're about 15 yards from this target, which isn't a great distance, but I can put arrow after arrow after arrow in a two inch circle in the middle of that target all day long, till I get tired anyway, and then I start, my group started to open up. So with a compound, when you draw that thing back, you bonk, hit that wall. You can't draw it any farther. You know that you're at the same draw length, the same anchor every time. You don't have that with traditional tackle. I can kind of achieve something similar, and we talk about this more on the other video that I talked about, and you can access that video if you click this little icon in the top right. But my shoulder blade rotating around acts kind of like a draw stop. The big similarities when you shoot the way that I shoot is that basically I'm using my arrow tip as a sight. Now at this distance, we're only about 15 yards like I said earlier, at this distance, where my tip is superimposed on that target, I hit about three inches higher than that. So basically all I have to do is put my arrow tip three inches below what I want to hit and bonk, there it goes. So long as I'm lined up, have proper back tension and carry out my shot sequence properly. Now, what am I talking about, about controlling every aspect of your shot? One of the things that you'll run into with traditional archery is guys that, well, they have target panic, frankly, and they don't even know it. If you have trouble, when you draw back, if you can get to a full draw, I've seen guys not even be able to get to full draw before they poof, let that arrow go and then who knows where it's gonna go. But if you have trouble stopping your shot at any moment during that shot sequence and letting down, you don't have complete control over your shot and basically you have maybe not full blown but some symptoms of target panic. One of the things that I like to do to force me to aim and force me to gain control over every aspect of the shot is to go through my entire shot sequence, hit full draw, get proper back tension, rotate that shoulder back, push my bow hand forward and then aim get on target and hold it there just like you would with a rifle hold it on target just like you're going to make the shot and then let down if you can train yourself to do that i can almost guarantee that you'll see an improvement in your shooting almost instantly it's amazing what that'll do for you now when you're doing this it's very important to go through every step of your shot sequence just like you're going to make a shot and then conclude that with aiming and holding on target before you let down. Basically, you're forcing yourself to aim, which is something that doesn't sound very hard, but it's pretty difficult for a lot of guys to overcome. It sounds like it should be easy to let down, but when you train yourself to shoot thousands and thousands and thousands of arrows, 
when you come back and get on target, a lot of times it can be very difficult to make yourself let down because you're conditioned to let go. This is 15 yards with a self bow. Like I said before, this is not a great distance, but it's a fair shot. And if I can do this with a self bow, anybody can do it with a glass bow. Make no mistake about it, shooting a traditional bow is very much a mental game, and you've got to learn how to take control over every aspect of your shot. Now, it took me years to learn how to shoot this well, but it was because I was frustrated and struggling against instinctive shooting basically. I had very little to no instruction and the instruction I did get was not very good. So you're lucky. Um, if you practice what you learned in this video today I can almost guarantee you'll see an improvement in your shooting because you're forcing yourself to aim. That's very very important. I'd like to take the last couple seconds to thank the remaining sponsor of these videos. And that's Abe Penner with Caribou, Eclipse and Werewolf Broadheads and the supporters at patreon.com slash clayhaze. Check it out. We'll see you next time.